Neamț Citadel, or Cetatea Neamțului, the correct pronunciation here, is a medieval fortress located in the northeastern part of the country, right next to one of the little towns of Neamț County. Watching over the town from up the hill, ever since the 14th century when it was built during the reign of Peter I, this citadel has been extended in the 15th century during the reign of Stephen III of Moldavia and it has been a big part of its defense system along with other citadels like Suceava, Hotin, Soroka, Orhei and others. A long history of attacks left the walls of this citadel in various stages of decay. The last renovations have been made probably around 10 to 12 years ago, when different chambers inside have been made to look like what historics presume they used to look like. It houses a prison, a kitchen, a long hall where the advisors of the rulers used to be gathered, and other significant rooms with practical purposes. The most impressive part is the view it offers from the terrace it has towards the town, from where you can see the river at the foot of the hill and even surrounding villages. destination was uh, my favorite and maybe the most visited when I was little. Welcome to the beautiful city of Yash, the first and most popular things to visit here is the palace. Seven Great Street going down to the palace right now. The palace is part of a complex with a mall behind it and uh, the palace itself it got out of construction at the end of the last century and it was renovated um, eight to nine years ago and now is from what I know open for public for visitation you pay a ticket and you visit the multiple museums inside the palace and uh, the entire city is a center of cultural meaning for this northeast side there we go with the flowers get out of my face and we do have the big churches right here we call it metropolia and we have a theater right there which i'm not sure if it's uh done rebuilding or not yeah the, the theater is there 
Palace, which is the main attraction in the middle of this town. Here we are, we are in front of the palace. I really hope we can visit it. The Palace of the Culture built between 1906 and 1925 by the architect I.D. Varinde. It's amazing how after they renovated this building they actually kept every detail in terms of architecture both on the walls and around the windows and up top on the roof with these little details here. The building of the palace served as administrative and justice palace until 1955 when its destination was changed being assigned to the four museums nowadays united under the name of Moldavian National Museum Complex. Also the building houses the Cultural Heritage Conservation Restoration Center and hosts various exhibition and other events. The Palace of Culture is listed in the National Register of Historic Monuments, located in the perimeter of the medieval princely court of Moldavia from 1434. The construction was conceived as a rebuilding and expansion project. There's an entire story here about the first time the official paper of this country appeared. 190 years ago it was called the monitor official monitor and it's still up to date and functioning this is the official decree of the king Mikhail the first who declared his renouncing to the throne these are very important historical moments. The Romanian architect Ide Berindei was assigned to plan and conduct the rebuilding process. Unlike the old palace built in a neoclassical style, Berindei chose to design it in a flamboyant neo-gothic style. Entrance of the palace is through a great donjon tower with crenels and alcoves dominated by an eagle with open wings. The tower is the central architectural piece of the palace. On each of the three exposed sides there is a face of the clock with a diameter of 3.25 meter, 11 feet. The clock faces are decorated with stained glass representing the 12 astrological signs. Two young men dressed in national costumes are painted on the sides of the clock faces guarding the clock. Design element inspired from the Pelish castle.
the Moldova National Museum Complex hosts four museums located in the Palace of Culture, Art Museum, Moldavian History Museum, Ethnographic Museum of Moldavia, and Stefan Procopiu Science and Technic Museum. The museums also comprise their own stores and libraries as well as halls of temporary exhibitions. It is said that the palace has 365 rooms, but of course I only got to see just a couple of them as I went through the four museums. You see here random shots of all of them. They are all quite fascinating and the number of exponents are enough to keep you here for an entire day and reminisce to the history of the country, to the tools, the innovations, the clothing and the art and everything else the museum has to show. The palace on the inside overwhelms with its curious architectural details on both ceilings, stairs and floors. Some windows have stained glass with various representations and every other detail on all the windows and doors are kept true to the era and matching the surroundings. A ticket for the four museums was the equivalent of 10-20 US dollars and for me it was totally worth it. I only wish I had more time to hang around and enjoy it.
Okay, we are done with the palace now. We in the palace mall, uh, which is right behind the palace, and we are going to take a look, see what's up, maybe eat something, and go back to the train station. We went super fast through the mall. We ate something, and now we are getting outside between the mall and the palace. Check out the view. Oh, beautiful, beautiful public garden here between the mall and the palace. And people come here all the time. It's full pretty much all the time, especially into the weekend with students because this city being the central cultural capital of the Northeast, we have a lot of students here. So here we go. There's a nice place where we can sit around and do nothing. you have all kinds of stands like this we are heading out to the train station that was the first thing to see out of not very many that I'm gonna see for these couple of days I'm gonna be here I'm not gonna film all day every day everything I'm seeing but definitely I'm gonna a couple of good things like that and other adventures so stay tuned to the end of the clip that was pretty much it with our trip to the palace and to the palace mall uh, in Yash a city dear to me uh, a city that I spent a lot of time into but I didn't really get to visit this awesome place finally this was the day
to put some adventure in this trip up north and I really wanted to hit up this one attraction that I've been hearing so much about for the last maybe a year and a half. This one is something that you do not want to miss. It's something exceptional, it's something very beautiful, thrilling and it's really worth seeing at least once in a lifetime. Hey people, we are finally at Palma. Palma it's a little stop into the mountains of Bukovina if I'm not mistaken and uh, the view is amazing but the main attraction here is the fact that we have the longest zip line in Eastern Europe and we are about to experience it oh I'm so excited the Sun is shining bit by bit over the mountains the autumn colors are there the area is magnificent a couple of tables down there if you want to eat something beautiful beautiful scenery and I'm going to the zipline where is the zipline though uh, let's see this road is closed probably I have to go up <clears throat> Riding this zipline, it's absolutely amazing. Once you get out of the, you get out of the forest, you gotta leave the, the parachute, and then uh, you get here, and they have a little, a little bus that, once it's filled, gonna take us back up there. It's been a blast.
right now I am in a town called Bashkan. There's a little church up there and you probably hear the sermon in the background. At the end of this elongated square right here there are a couple of stairs and I am on them right now and I'm about to climb that climb them right up there. It's pretty much the only thing I know to visit in this town. I was not particularly eager to climb a lot of stairs today but any point in any city that I can have a more panoramic view of uh, at least part of the city or part of a street of a city I like so I'm gonna keep climbing. Keep climbing stairs right now. I reached the top of the stairs. They have like a little monument cross here. These kind of monuments here are called Troitsa with a little cross. And this is the view from up top the stairs. Pretty neat. Long story short, I've been taking these couple of days trips up north because uh, it's the place of my birth and I spent my childhood here uh, and my years of college and I love to come here and relax. Well, the idea of being here in silence, disconnected from, from the life in Bucharest is really appealing to me and I have not been filming continuously and chronologically the events of these past couple of days just because I just wanted to film the most important and interesting things around. If I visited something, if I did something, other than that I just wanted to relax. I just uh, didn't want to worry about what I'm filming or how chronologically I am putting all the events together. This is the last stop on my way back to Bucharest. I have to exchange trains in this town and this town pretty much is known by uh, being the largest uh, railway node in uh, in the north of the country. From anywhere I would, I would come back home. Uh, I would have to go through this town uh, if I am coming back home by train. I do not know anything else about this little town here. I don't know about historical places or uh, touristic attractions. I only know about these stairs and I just visited with you.